Ben, we're here at Chris Tech today. This is your latest acquisition behind us. But before we talk about the Matsura, what do you do here at Chris Tech? So Chris Tech is a subcontract machining. Um, we've got CNC milling, CNC turning, got manual grinding, and we'll make uh, all sorts of parts from aeros uh, automotive, uh, full arrest, uh, military defense, and looking for aerospace next year as well. And Chris Tech, a very successful company in your own right, but you've gone from a traditional vertical machining center company to this, you know, it's a huge acquisition. Yeah. So I'm interested to learn more about the journey from a vertical machining center to a fully integrated, automated, five axis machine, the MAM 7235B. So um, Chris Tech started obviously when we got our first CNC machine many, many years ago. Then on from that, we went on to fourth axis. And then um, several years later, we bought a four plus one machine. And we always knew that we would eventually go to five axis machining. Um, as with all com uh, companies, recruitment is difficult and finding skilled people. Um, so we started looking at the, uh, buying a five axis me machine with a pallet loader system, you know, bolted onto it. Um, so we can get aim for this lights out manufacturing. Um, looked at various different options. The Matsura was proposed to us and um, the idea of having a machine tool which has got the pallet loader built in as well as a huge tool changer, it was you know, absolutely fantastic. Um, I think that's a big thing, isn't it? It's not a, a five axis with something bolted on, it's integrated, it is part of the machine. Yeah, fully integrated. So the whole machine um, has been designed for lights out machining, you know, and that's evident. The more you use it, um, there's lots of little things um, about how smart the machine is really, along with the scheduling software as well. Um, it, you know, it's, it's designed specifically to run unmanned, whereas looking at other systems, it was a bolt on to a machine that wasn't necessarily designed to do that. And a lot of companies would say we don't do the volumes, but Chris Tech were a good example where you're doing small to medium volumes, volumes successfully. In fact, you mentioned five, 10, 20, 30 off would be as big as you, as you would do. Yeah, so our average back size is probably 10 to 15. Uh, recently, that's gone up to about 30, um, but you know, on average, it's 10 off. Um, so you know, this machine is not a production machine in the sense of you know, thousands and thousands off. It will just keep running whatever you put at it. It's got 32 pallets on it, and if you wanted, you could have 32 one-offs. You know, it doesn't matter. And if we talk about the machine tool itself, you know, what specification is it? Uh, so obviously if a five axis simultaneous machine, we've got 32 pallets. Um, ours comes with 200 tools on it, but could go up to 320 tools if we want. Um, we've got on machine probing too, um, and the accuracy is, is second to none. And I'm not exaggerating when I say it will cut within a micron. Um, we loaded a job earlier today, uh, which we had done about a week ago put the billet in, press go, and it was exactly the same as it was a week before. It was fantastic. And prior to this acquisition, you were Siemens shop, Siemens controls. This is, this is obviously different. So how's that learning curve been? Um, well, what we also did was um, invested in a new CAD CAM package as well. Um, so, I mean, the whole experience of five axis machining, lights out machining, new CAD CAM packages, it has been a steep learning curve. Um, but we're about six weeks into it now and we're starting to, you know, actually get firing on all cylinders. Um, you know, I won't lie, it's not, it's not easy. You know, you have to be disciplined, you have to be um, uh, well planned and meticulous with your planning. You can't take it, um, you know, a, a sort of half-baked effort, but the benefits are, in, you know, second to none, it's fantastic. Is it all aluminium you do on the machine? At the moment, we've geared it up for aluminium. We, we, as a company, we machine a, a lot of aluminium. It's a big chunk of um, that type of work. So we've set the machine up for aluminium, but there's no reason why we can expand that to you know, all other um, materials as well. So Mark, Chris Deck, they're delighted with the acquisition of your machine, but in your words, why did they go for you? Uh, well, Chris Tech have been looking at um, uh, a five-axis uh, investment for probably most of the year, but we've probably only known them for the last couple of months. They spent you know, the earlier part of the year looking at a single table machine with some sort of automation, but when we started talking to them, they soon got the idea and understood that to give you true 
unmanned, 24 hour, you know, weekend, three days, four days, five days running. The, the MAM 72 range is, is, is the perfect choice. It's a big jump though, isn't it, Mark, from a vertical machining center to this? Oh yes, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely. But when you actually start to look at uh, and understand return on the investment through having 32 pallets, having 200 tools available to you, then it soon becomes a choice that you think, well actually, the difference in price between the 35V and a single table machine with, a, with an add-on um, pallet changer, it's not that insurmountable really. And talk about the machine itself, the design, you know, it's a traveling C-frame, but the, the other things. Well, this is the other unique part of the Matsura, the whole MAM 72 range, in fact. They're designed from the ground up as fully automated, unmanned running, multi-tool, multi-pallet machining centers. So the 35V that Chris Tech have invested in um, is, as you say, it's a typical C-frame construction. It's got glass scales on X, Y, and Z, plus both rotary axes. So in terms of accuracy, and, and maintaining its tolerances throughout a, a, you know, a large or a, a very large um, unmanned period, the machine is still very, very accurate and very, very accurate for, for, for lots of other reasons as well. So what would you say to people? I think Matsu is for large multinational companies. You know, Chris Eck, good company, but they're certainly not a multinational. No, no, not at all. And, uh, you know, we sell the 35E, as you see here, to, to, to much smaller um, privately owned companies or to the big, OEMs in the UK and the, the, the real I suppose the real um, advantage that we have being able to sell to all these different customers is that it's designed around an economical batch size of one and any multiple from one upwards so it's not just about the machine tool in terms of how the machine can uh, give you the return on the investment the machine is really a spec with a certain level of software which allows you to monitor both tools and pallets and when you start thinking about its competitors with a bolt-on type tool changer and a bolt-on type pallet changer, they don't have necessarily the same level of control over tools and pallets as we do. A good example of this may be that we run a schedule to tell the operator when the machine is actually going to finish. Now that schedule is looking at both the tools and the pallets that are available. So for argument's sake, if you had an M6 tap that was used on pallets 1, 3 and 5, and that tap broke and there was no spare available, our competitor's machine would stop. Whereas the Matsura will look at all the tools and the pallets that are available and it will say, right, I can't use that tool, there's no spare, so I'll lock all those pallets and I'll go and machine the next pallet available with the tools that are available. So when the guys come in in the morning, the machine potentially was still running, but it also may inform the operator on a Saturday afternoon, for argument's sake, that it needs attention. It will carry on running, but it needs attention, and it gives you the option to come back, tend the machine, replace the tool, and then it will then get you through to the, Saturday, the Sunday morning, the Monday morning, whenever it may be. And lots of machine tool builders now, with all talking about productivity. Yep. But Matsura, you've been talking about this for quite some time. In fact, this isn't a new machine, is it? Oh, no, no. This machine, I think uh, if you go back through the history of the, uh, the MAM range, the MAM 72 range, the early MAM 72 S1, S2, S40, you know, those machines are approaching 25 years old. And we have customers in the UK with 25-year-old machines, exactly the same as this, that are still getting 160 hours unmanned running out of their machines a week. So just briefly, can I ask you to conclude why someone is going to buy a MAM or Matsura in general? The real benefit is it's fast return on investment. Yes, it's an expensive machine. Yes, it's a very, very hungry animal to feed. But if you can feed it, not necessarily a volume, but with variety, it will give you the best return on investment of any square footage you have in your factory. And you've mentioned it's a steep learning curve. Buying the machine tool, that's only half of the job. How about the rest of the service for Matsura? Yeah, so it's been fantastic. Um, installation and, and commissioning was, was uh, smooth, straightforward. Training, we've had, um, you know, wh whenever we have questions, we pick up the phone. Um, we had a, um, a couple of little teething issues with the, the tool changer misaligning, um, but they were straight down here, fixed it, you know, no, no questions, no qualms at all. So, yeah, it's been really good, really, really good. So your company looking to grow, you're in your 30th year this year, but you're still looking to grow. Will Matsura, Matsura be part of that journey? Absolutely, yeah. It's hard to see how we go backwards after this. So.